So in that situation now, what are these recommendations you have for companies around the verification to stop the ruse? Well, look, uh, the first thing is, is if you don't know the person well, so if it's like, like we talked about before, if it's an electronic issue, um, you have to you know, put the device down, back up from your computer, take your hands away from the keyboard and ask somebody, you know, ask your booth mate, you know, your cubicle mate, the person in the office next to you, your boss your assistant, somebody else to look at it before you do anything, you know, because usually once you get a second person involved, they're going to confirm what your instincts are. And then, you know, it's a scam, right? Um, so that's, that's how I advise with the, with the technology. And of course, a lot of firms also have like a hotline um, that you can, you know, reach out and say, Hey, I got this email. And then they can kind of, you know, go onto your computer and look at it too. And in terms of the phone call, I, I think that's the area that corporations have really fallen asleep is that they think, phone calls don't happen anymore, that everything is done, <laughs> right? I mean, we are of an age where we use the phone a lot, but younger people don't use the phone in the same way we did in terms of the voice call, right? And so corporations have kind of forgotten that there are people that are still making voice calls. I have all kinds of tricks that I use to get you to pick up your phone because a lot of times people don't pick up their phone, but when I call you, you will pick up that phone. One very simple one um, that nobody thinks about is, so I'm gonna call you, you're not gonna recognize the number. M maybe it says anonymous, maybe it says a number you don't know. Um, so you're not gonna answer it. As soon as that call goes to voicemail, I dial your number immediately again. Now it's come through a second time. Now you're like, okay, something's going on. Again, maybe there's a problem. Maybe this is my kid's school and this is a teacher whose number I don't know. Maybe my, my mother, something happened and, and, and I don't know. So you know what? I got to answer this call because this could be important. I'm telling you nine times out of 10, that second phone call, the person picks up the phone. If they don't, then I resort to, there's a thing called call spoofing where you can get your number to show up as someone else's number, someone that they know, um, you can get your number to show up as some sort of authority number. I could have it show up as compliance. I could have it show up as the you know um, a regulatory agency. Whatever I want to do to make that, and we, and we get these calls at home now too all the time, right? I got a I got a phone call the other day from the actor Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott, okay, right? We know Sam Elliott from Big Lebowski and all that stuff. Well, I happen to know Sam. And Sam has been a big supporter of mine. And, um, you know, he, you know, has done a lot of cool stuff for me. So I have his number in my phone. And somehow, some agency figured that out. And so all of a sudden, I'm getting this call from Sam Elliott. And I see the call come in. And I think to myself, well, Sam Elliott has never called me. I mean, he's been a big supporter, but he's not calling me to hang out. And I realized that it was a call spoof and that somebody had used a relationship I had to try to get me to pick up the phone. You know, you have, you know, relationships with people and you see that number coming in or that name, you, again, you're going to answer the phone. Mm -hmm.